Oh, so guys, we fixed my heading car issue about three or four days ago. I'm making the intro now because I wanted to make sure it worked before I even made a video on it. Yeah, but it's under there. All right, guys. So here it is: the FRM, I mean the EKPM3 uh, fuel module. So right now, what we have to do is you see these clips on the side right here. These we're gonna have to push in to take this cover off, which I'm gonna have to grab and just start prying here. One. This doesn't really matter anymore. You're not gonna need this case anymore and these casings anymore. But still try to, still try to, uh, you know, try to be easy on this. You don't wanna accidentally do something. Try grab it from here, guys. Don't don't grab it from the back like I'm doing like this. Grab it from the sides because I keep pushing them in. Just pop this out like so. Here is the new KPM3 module. The module case thing, and it comes with the instructions right here. Tell you to uh, clean these off, and they even give you a diagram on how the heat sink should go, facing forward like that, because obviously the fan, the blower. Um, it's sucking in air and you're pushing it down and it's like this way so yeah and then it has the little vents holes right here and then this this is the easy this is the, gonna be the uh, the fusing part where we fuse tap into another fuse for, for right now what we have to do is start cleaning this we're gonna clean the the modules this big one this one right here and this one right here so there's three of these one two and three just clean these up make sure like it's clean clean because you don't you don't want the heat sinks to fall off when it gets super hot you want it to be extremely sticky. Um, don't worry, you won't damage anything. I've already done this with the X3. I had my mom's truck X3 had the same problem where it used to turn off when it got super, super hot. Oh, shoot. Oh. It, it used to turn off when it got super, super hot. And uh, I was researching and I was like, man, what, the, what could it be? What could it be? And then I found this company called Arc Terminator that was making, making these upgraded uh, uh, fuel module fan things. Uh, for upgraded fuel fuel systems and I wanted to see if it'll work with like a overheating you know module on a stock car because my mom's X3 was stock so is my 550 is stock as well and it's overheating and it's turning off and after a while you just wait 10 minutes or 15 minutes and it'll turn right back on and you're driving like if it was nothing so I found this company and they sent me I was doing it on X3 I told them if they have one for an X3 because I didn't see it on their page they said no but if you want we can send you a let's grab the heat sinks now let that dry. Remember to let that dry. These zip ties are for like the uh, the cable. This cable when you mount it. I'm gonna show you how to mount it. It's really easy. Okay, so now you gotta remember this photo that they sent us. They tell they you see the heat sinks. They're facing this way, this way, and this way towards the thing. So we're gonna point this way. So we're gonna start with the smallest one, the hardest one, or the, the easiest one. Let's start with the easiest one. Um, we grab like that. We just take off the little tape in the back. Make sure to center it, guys. You do not want it to be off-center on the diode. Uh, let me see on the MOSFET. Let me see here. Damn. I don't got no nails. This is where you need nails, uh, but I don't got none. Okay, take it off. This is the medium one. Or the big one, I'm sorry. Um, all you're going to do, grab a corner. It's looking right already. And then just press it, not too hard, just press it and hold it. Not hard, you do not want to push it hard. Just firm, just press and hold, press and hold. Uh, as you can see, just like that. Okay, you see we're right in the center, nothing too crazy. All right. One, go sideways like this, which is very weird. Because I think they gave me the wrong one. Because you can see the photos. It shows you this one. But this one is long. It's just a long. And you can't go sideways like this. So I'm going to just leave it facing forward like this. Yeah, because they gave me the wrong one. But huh. it just still works. It's not going to be a big difference. But it just still work. We just need heat to grab and to dissipate out. But yeah, it should be just like that. 
facing forward because remember the air is blowing out you want to blow the wind out towards the vents in the front this is you see how the back is all metal once you once you finish clean this up because you might have some grease in your hands clean this all up because this is the mating surface that connects to the body of the car which helps the, this module cool down of course it's not efficient enough to um, cool it down so you want to clean it as much as possible to get your grease off of your fingers but you know you do that at the end once you're done here make sure I'm not jumping up there. just like so I did not like those cracks to be honest but whatever all right so now clean this finish cleaning this up we're done here and the uh, and the the uh, the power the um, the ground I'm sorry I want to show you where to put the ground at right now. They're cool that uh, Arc Terminator gives you some stickers. They give me an E92. Um, I used to have an E90, but I'm gonna give it to my buddy that has an E92. This is really, really, really cool. And then the Arc Terminator. This is the brand, guys. Go check them out. Really cool people. And yeah, this thing really works, especially if you're upgraded fuel system. Could uh, do this so your car will not overheat. It works on E90s, F10s, F30s. Uh, even the X3s, X5s, you know, shit like that. All, all of them that have the EKPM3 and EKPM2 modules like this. I'm going to keep this case just, you know, just to keep it. So I bolted back in. I put the bottom one in already, but the top one, this is where your ground is going to go. Like this. This is where your ground is going to go, just like that. So this is in there now. As you can see, it's behind this. So you got to lift this up like that and place it behind this F-arm and then this will squeeze it like that now you put these in all right because it's about it's low so don't tighten it too 147 this little buckler should be in here 147 let's see here it is this where is it uh one right here the one above the relay 147 should be now let's see the amperage at 20 so put this back where it was at it's right here and grab your fuel your right tool grab the 20 out of this little spot Okay, now what you're gonna do also as you can see I routed the wire the wire right here and behind this thing and it came out through here all you gotta do is pop out some clips right here these those clips and uh, now the 20 amp fuse you're gonna put it in here and then just put it back where it came okay guys so as you can see back in there uh, the 20 amp I just swapped it out put it in yeah so that's in now the ground is in now we can start placing everything back on the battery um here let's let's connect it actually and see if it's actually going to work here running there you go now we're good and this won't kill your battery because it's got an eight minute uh um cut off switch so after eight minutes after the car is off it'll turn off completely um so it won't kill your battery so yeah let me reinstall everything again put this back under here and Put my mat that got wet because it started raining a little bit. And yeah. Everything is tidied up now. I'm gonna drive the car right now for a little bit to see everything's working fine. When you go on the, like right now, if I was to drive this for about an hour or two, if I wanted to Raleigh back, um, it would turn off on me on the freeway, literally on the freeway. And you would have to wait in the hot, inside the hot. Uh, yeah, I need to go put gas right now, as you can see. But, uh, in the hot, I had to go wait into the car cools down or the module cools down, and then I'll be able to start it right back up. Obviously, you won't tell the difference right away because you didn't do nothing performance wise. Well, kind of you did, it's more maintenance, I guess you could say. It's more of a maintenance thing, yeah. Low tire, I gotta go put air. Right, these are these raw flies, I gotta get rid of them either way. I'm gonna put the link for this module, uh, this you know, cooler down in the description. Um, so yeah, I can go get one for y'all's F chassis or E chassis But yeah guys y'all let me know what y'all want to see on this car I really want to mod it like put down pipes on this thing because I mean if y'all hear it look how quiet this is Okay, let me put it in sport mode right, Let's see Anyways, but um, yeah, she she is super super quiet. So look, put everything back. That's where it was at. 
it's super easy install. I mean, one of the easiest things you can do to this car. I mean, you know. And it's a maintenance thing, so.